Hi everybody, happy Thursday. I'm back with another brand new story, and this book is about two best friends. This book is Silver Linings. It's written by Fiona Woodcock, and it's published by Harper Collins. And we wanna thank them for allowing us to share this book with you today. So, are you ready to find out what this book is all about? Are you ready to get started? All right. Here they are. See them? Looks like they're running. And here, they're on a seesaw. I'll bet they're at the park. Silver linings. This is Pip. This is Pip. And this is Parker. See? They live in two different apartment buildings. You can tell they are best friends because sometimes they don't even need to speak. But sometimes they do. Oh no, my crayon broke, yelled Pip. Luckily, Parker knew just what to say. What would you say? Let's find out what he says. It's okay, Pip, Parker said. Now we can both use yellow. Time for a snack and some lemonade. Oh no, my strawberry fell in my cup, cried Pip. Parker nudged Pip. Now we've got pink lemonade, he said. And he dropped a strawberry into his cup, too. Would you do that for your friend? Pip and Parker like to play in the park with their toy boat. But where is the boat? They looked up, around, and upside down. Still no boat. Pip was sad. Parker had an idea. Let's make paper boats instead, he said. We can sail them. Hooray! It floats, said Parker. Swoosh! A gust of wind suddenly carried Parker's boat away. Pip stamped her foot. It's too windy to play, she said. Parker looked at his friend. Maybe it's too windy for paper boats, Pip, he said. But it's perfect for... What is windy weather perfect for? Do you have any guesses? It's perfect for kites. Did you guess that? Did you? What fun. The kites dipped and flipped and flew up, 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 up through the falling petals. But something started to worry Pip. The trees will miss their flowers, she said sadly. Luckily, Parker knew just how to cheer her up. Look, Pip, said Parker, now we can see Frank. Do you see him in the treehouse? Do you see him up there? You probably couldn't see him before because there was leaves in the way. What do you think? It was fun playing with Frank in his treehouse, but soon Pip noticed the sky had become cloudy. Look, she said, the day is ruined. Fortunately, Parker knew just what to say. Come with me, Pip. I've got an idea, he said. See you tomorrow, said Frank. I see a caterpillar, Pip giggled. I see a butterfly, Parker laughed. Uh-oh, it smells like... Oh, before we get to that, then what do you see in the clouds? Do you see anything? What do you see? Elephant. You see an elephant? And I see a dog but it smells like rain. Pip looked at Parker, Parker looked at Pip. Sometimes best friends don't need words. What are they gonna do? They're jumping in the puddles. Do you like to do that? Do you ever just go outside and like to play in the rain? Well, let me go back to the second. Even the birds are in on it. They're all having fun in the rain. I'm hungry, said Pip. Me too, said Parker. Let's go home and have a snack, said Pip. We can look at our pictures, said Parker. Pip gulped her drink quickly. It was already half gone. Parker was very excited. Their pictures were even better than he remembered. Do you see them? Do you like to draw with your friends? Uh -oh. What just happened? You see what happened? He spilled his milk. And see that? Oh no. Parker didn't know what to say. 
but sometimes best friends don't need words. They know exactly what to do. Do you see this? He spilled his milk over their pictures, but she gave him a hug, telling him not to feel so bad. And look what they did. They floated a boat in the milk. The end. So what did you think about this story? What do you like to do with your friends? Let me know on our Instagram page. And come in and check out this book if you enjoyed it. I will be back next week with more brand new stories to share. So until then, everybody have a great couple days, have a great weekend, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye for now.